Hello and welcome to another special video review and today well uh, it's been a while we haven't done one of these uh, reviews so hang tight we're we're heading back into uh, weirdness territory so the, these are uh, three uh, Dia Robo that I've got uh, a long time ago <laughs> never reviewed them so there they are <laughs> so we got a couple of military vehicles we have a Dia Robo helicopter which is pretty decent. We have a missile launcher truck. Again, pretty nice. And we have a weirdly uh, Optimus Prime looking Diarobo truck. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's special about the Diarobo is that they actually have a really decent vehicle mode and they have a bunch of die cast parts. So, in, in this one, all the cab is all metallic. So, it's pretty cool. So, we have some nice detail. All the rest though is pretty much plastic. And over here, pretty much the same thing. All of this is all die cast. The rest is plastic. Wait, is this? Uh, I think all of the panels are uh, die cast for this one. So we have the cab and these all in die cast. And this is plastic, yeah. So yeah, pretty decent. And as for the helicopter, we have the engines die cast and all of this part right here. So. Yeah, do we have this? No, this is plastic. So yeah, pretty interesting. So yeah, they, they have really decent vehicle mode. They are really small. Uh, for comparison, we have here a uh, Studio Series a Jazz. So you can see they are very small. They are a legend size. So yeah, it's pretty small. But they make really decent vehicles. So uh, yeah, for example, uh, here we have, th this is the old one. So I already made reviews of those. So we have the Arobo, the garbage truck. We have a Toyota, uh, what is it like, I forgot the name of the truck. <laughs> we have the, this one, another Toyota, I don't remember this one either, and we have a tank that I think I did not too long ago, like two years ago, <laughs> not long ago. So, yeah. <laughs> so they, they make pretty decent vehicles, so, <laughs> yeah, let's move them and go in. Uh, a little bit specific so uh, yeah, let's start with the helicopter now they are not really great in robot mode though uh, as much as the vehicle mode is pretty decent uh, their robot mode is uh, <laughs> yeah so yeah in the helicopter we do have a blade here but the blade to me is really small <laughs> we do have a blade right here it doesn't yeah it spins but it's really uh, uh, there's a lot of uh, friction on it you uh, do have like the copy painted but that's pretty much it so for transformation we do have to remove the tail and it's part forming and I hate it but yeah come back right here uh, we unpeg these side panels here those are gonna be the arms and you can swing the arms forward if you want to like this you unpeg these these are going to be the legs, and you have the feet right here, and right here, and then you unpeg the backpack like this, drop the chest, uh, do we, how do we drop this, this like this, yeah, we can't drop this, no way. Ah, oh, there you go. You have to pull it. <laughs> I haven't transformed this in a while. So yeah, pull it. Have this like this. And then you have the backpack that you can put back up. And that's pretty much it. So, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the uh, Diarobo helicopter. It does have like a ninja looking head. Do have uh, ball joints at the elbow. We do have a swivel at uh, the... Well, uh, ball joints at the shoulder and a uh, swivel at the elbow. Nothing at the waist. The leg can move back uh, forward like this. Back not so much. <laughs> can we pull the legs? No, you can't. So, yeah. No, you can't. And the feet can move up and down. So, yeah. Like I said, not the greatest robot in history. Does he even stand? Eh, okay. And for this, unfortunately... I uh, can't do much, so, yeah. As for the missile launcher, again, they do roll, I forgot to show this, but they do roll. Looks pretty nice. 
I do have some nice painted window, the tip of the missile. We do have some emblem on the side, which I'm not sure what it represents. But uh, yeah, again, transformation. Well, you can see one foot is down, the other foot is down. You need to pull, well, not that much, but uh, yeah, you need to pull this and extend it on the side, like this. And do the same on the other side, like this, and bring it down. These joints are super loose. There you go. Uh, next up, you want to unpack the backpack, like this. So you have the legs. And then you bring down the uh, top. Again, you pull it out, bring it down, and then you have the head reveal. And you can take the backpack and bring it all the way up. So there you go. We have the missile truck in robot mode. And <laughs> again, like I said, not the prettiest robot. I mean, look at his mug. Only a mother could love that. <laughs> Arms are on ball joints. We do have swivel right here. Not much. Uh, legs again, forward, backs. It's pretty much the same articulation. They pretty much transform all the way uh, the same. So, there you go. But finally, we have the Optimus Prime looking one. This one is actually pretty different. So, yeah. Uh, nice truck. Doesn't bend you know, like a normal uh, truck and cab mode. So, yeah. Uh, transformation. You have to separate the back well the, the whole cab trailer thing it do so pull it out like this flip this open then you take these part right here pull it out separate it and then move this like this separate this pull this and move this like this there you go as for the back wheels you unpeg them like this Bring him forward, and again adjust this. So bring him forward, adjust this. And you have this configuration, and now you need to. Oops, I just unpacked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's put it back here. Oh. Pull this down, and then you pull this up. There you go, and then you pull this out, rotate it, and then you close back this. And this will help now, maybe, to peg this back in. There you go. And peg. So there you go. We have transformation pretty much all done. What I like to do is just close the uh, trailer back. There you go. So now we have sort of a nice uh, brachiosaur or... Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty decent. There's a lot of articulation. The uh, legs do move forward. We do have articulation here, like this, and the paws. And same thing on the back. Ball jointed. The tail can move up and down. We do have a bunch of articulated uh, joints in the neck. Uh, the mouth doesn't open though, but uh, yeah, it's actually pretty damn cool. I really like the uh, Brachiosaur looking one. So, yeah. Those are the Diarobo, the last three ones that I've gotten for uh, a long time ago. Uh, we can compare them with their uh, buddies all transformed, so give me a second. So comparing, we have uh, the Gorilla, we have the uh, tank that is similar right here to this one, I guess. It's a bit hard to uh, stand. <laughs> Whoop. Oh. Come on, Stan. All right. Uh, we have the pterodactyl. We have the bear. We have a triceratop. We have another guy. <laughs> so yeah, whole bunch of Diarobo old line of uh, really cheap and uh, cheap <laughs> robot thing. But uh, yeah, they have nice die cast and their vehicle vehicle mode is really really nice. So that's that's actually their strength, you know. But uh, otherwise, eh, robot mode, eh, I do dig the uh, dinos, the animals are pretty decent, but robot mode, mm, not not that much, you know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, otherwise, pretty much it, uh, Dia Robo, uh, I got this from seertoys.com, I'm going to put the link in the description below, oh, I'll try to put the links because they, <laughs> they are rather uh, hard to find anyway, so yeah. 
They are really cheap though, so you can get a whole bunch of those for really uh, not a high price. So yeah, go check it out. They're pretty uh, decent. Anyway, that's pretty much it. So you know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. And I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.